Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In the last tutorial, I demonstrated how to troubleshoot a flashing or flickering screen in Windows 11 laptop, which of course will also work for Windows 10 or Windows 8 laptops. In that tutorial, I categorized these issues into hardware-related and software-related causes. In the actual fixes, I covered mainly the software-related issues. Now in this second part of the video, I have a hardware-related case of flashing and flickering, and I will be demonstrating how I went on to troubleshoot and eventually resolve this issue. If you haven't tried out the suggestions in the first part of the tutorial, I highly recommend you do so before trying out the hardware fixes in this second part. Obviously, such hardware fixes can be more delicate and could require more technical know-how, so it's easier to get on with the software fixes before altering any hardware components on your computer. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I have this HP ProBook 430G4 and as you can see from the desktop, there are some faint, thick vertical lines that run from top to bottom of the screen, especially around the edges. Now, as soon as I begin to create some movements around the screen, either by lifting it or just touching it a little bit, this issue gets worse. And even after I stop the motioning around the screen, the vertical lines intensify and the image on the screen basically vanishes. Making mouse movements doesn't seem to be of any immediate help. However, when I try to create a stronger motion, for instance by sharply folding the screen halfway, it tries to somehow regain the desktop and becomes responsive to mouse movement again. But within a short time, the vertical lines intensify again and the image on the screen gradually vanishes. Now the fact that the flickering and flashing on this screen is somewhat altered by motion in the screen makes me believe that this is somewhat a hardware related issue. However, it doesn't seem like the typical flex cable issue, it's more like some other components on the screen power panel is defective. So here I will need to undo the screen assembly to have more access to the components around the screen. For this particular laptop, the frames are not held up by screws, so I just need to carefully pry it open. If your screen is held up by some screws, take care to carefully unscrew before prying it open. Now, this can be quite a delicate process for most laptops, so if you are not familiar with opening your laptop or disassembling your screen, or if you are worried about damaging the screen in the process, then it might be better to seek the help of a technician. However, if you have managed to open up your screen, then there are a few tests we can do to identify the cause of the flickering. Now in my case, the first thing I did after disassembling the screen compartment was to reset the connection cable. Here I simply unclip the connector at the back of the screen. Then clip it back more firmly to see if that will resolve the issue. And as you can see here, the flickering continued the exact same way and nothing changed. Next, I try to run my fingers through this section of the screen, which normally houses some of the power components, just to see if there will be some response of any sort, maybe coming from a loose component. And just towards the right end of the panel, I notice some additional flashes on the screen when I press down a little bit in that area. Now, that further suggests that this is likely an issue with the power panel of the screen. And for this screen, the power panel is fully integrated to the screen, so a full screen replacement will be required even if the issue is just with the power panel. Now before ordering a replacement screen, if you have a screen with similar connector lying around, you can first test to see if the issue goes away when you attach another screen to it. Now the screen doesn't have to be the exact same size, it just needs to have the same connector type. So if you have a smaller or a bigger screen of the same connector type, you can use that to perform this test. Just to be sure before ordering another screen. Here I happen to have a working screen from another laptop, so I will attach it and test to see if the issue goes away. And here, as you can see, with this new screen, everything seems to be working fine. Now, no more flashes, no more flickering, no horizontal lines. So this was a case of defective hardware components leading to flashing and flickering of the screen. And the solution in this case is to replace the screen. Now, if you set to order and replace your screen, pay close attention to key elements like the screen size, the number of pins for the connector, the resolution and the attachment points around the screen. 
Using the model number of the screen to search would be a good way to ensure a matching screen, but even with that, still pay attention to these details I mentioned. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.